Just made it to Vegas. Uh, we're out here at our buddy Chuck's, Chris Kirchin's house, Kyle's Hotel. Uh, let's, let's do a little Cribs edition. We have the key under there, right? He said he was gonna make a scavenger hunt. I didn't think he was serious. Sky highs are around the pole to the Black Ace. What is that? Around the what? pole. Sky eyes it. I should have. There's not enough. <laughs> roller to the Christmas tree stand. What does he mean, roller? Oh, he's on it. I saw this when we were walking up. Oh, maybe not this one? Oh, there he is. What's that one say? Jump putt to the opposite side of the green rug. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Let's go, Kyle, you're holding us up. What? You're holding us up. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is the first annual disc golf curling this year's Winter Olympics. Here we have Paul McBeth and Chris getting ready to make their first attempt. Paul will be curling with an S-Line P2. He's impeccable form. Let's see how it works out. Oh, beautiful stop. Beautiful stop. Less than a foot from the end. Beautiful shot, beautiful shot. That might be worth the gold. It just may. How are you feeling about this uh, tournament? I'm excited. I get a chance at redemption after playing poorly last weekend. I really like the course. I think it suits my game well. Uh, it's a beautiful day. It's hardly, there's no wind. The sun's out. It feels good. Uh, really excited. Got about an hour to tee off, so I'm going to go practice putt, stay loose. Make sure I feel completely comfortable to start the round. I feel very prepared, so I'm really looking forward to it. Sautel, um, how do you feel going into this final round? I'm um, feeling good. I had a really good first round, kept it really clean, only had three fours, but didn't get enough twos. Second round, I got a few more twos, but had a lot more fours, and I took a five. 
I, I've only had two bo course bogeys so far, so I'm going to try and get back to my strategy, just keeping it clean and uh, trying to take as few fours as possible and then get as many twos as I can as well. I'm going to stick with the same game plan, keep throwing the same shots. I've been doing really well, so I'm just going to try and uh, hope everything clicks today and stay confident. So Paul, we're going into the third day of the tournament. Uh, you're about four from the lead. Do you have any um, strategy going into this last uh, tournament? I mean, it's not really a strategy. It's just make all those strokes back, you know. Had two rounds, lost a couple, but, you know, this is 18 more holes, you know, so anything can happen. Got some good players in front of me. And, uh, four strokes isn't a lot, um, especially on the final day. Anything can happen, so staying strong, getting birdies, and just putting the pressure on them. And the second card doesn't, it's not going to hurt because they won't know what's coming. So uh, what, what were some of your mistakes that you've been making that you're going to try to correct? My mistakes have been on the same six holes actually. The first three holes and the final three holes. Um, I think I'm like seven over in the two rounds on those, those six holes right there. So I need to attack those ones strong and just keep doing what I'm doing in the middle 12 because that's what those 12 holes are saving me. Saving decent rounds and keeping me in it right now. So I need to start strong and finish strong. That's what you need to do if you want to win. So you're four strokes off the lead. What do you think you'd have to shoot to try to take first? Out on this course, you know, if I want to win, definitely got to put something in the 40s today. There's no win. It's, you know, good scoring conditions right now. It's been all weekend. And the uh, best score so far is, I think, 49. It's put out the first round, so make up those four strokes. You know, I'm looking at 47 for a win, 48 for a tie. And uh, if I fall short of that, then I don't expect to win. So definitely be gunning out there going for everything. Winner bust.